Hey guys, here with an iPad video. In this video, I want to show you guys the Mailbox app, a hands-on look, and also I want to compare it against the Apple Mail app. So let's go ahead and open it up. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Dropbox actually purchased the um, this app, so this app actually is from the Dropbox. And one of the reasons I'm doing this video is because they're um, back a uh, couple couple months ago, um, this app was everybody was talking about it because there was a waiting list to try this app so now that it has been released for iPhone like almost a month ago now the iPad version is out and this is how it looks like you see when you open it up it looks like the Apple i uh, mail app well but one of the differences here is for example is that if you swipe here to the right like you see it turns green and what it does, it, it archives the message. And when you archive the message, archive will be right here. Like you see right here, all this, all everything you archive is gonna be right there. Uh, over here, let's go back to the mailbox. If you long swipe, like you see it turns red, it automatically deletes it completely from your mail client. Look at that. That's what it is. If you swipe to this side, um, what it does, it goes to a snooze feature, which right now you could tell this app to remind me of this email later today, this evening, tomorrow, next weekend, next week, in a month, someday, or here you could go ahead and pick your date. Uh, that way, at that date, this app, this email will go back to your mailbox as a new message so you can know, um, you know, Go ahead and attend it. Um, over here, if you swipe completely, long swipe, um, there's gonna be a list, like a, a, a playlist or something like that. So you could either put that mail to your buy to read or watch, or you could go ahead and create a new list. That's what it is, so that's what that is. Um, basically, other than that, there's not anything else that actually appeals to me from this app, because like I said, um, everything else is just like uh, uh, like the Apple version, but there's a couple negative, like for example, if I'm in the mail, it won't rotate. Like you see right there, it will not rotate, and being made for a tablet, it should rotate, so I am not, I would not be surprised if that actually gets updated very very soon it should rotate because this is made for a tablet so it should rotate over here you see it have a couple features list to snooze mailbox um, here you can go ahead and archive it and here you can go ahead and delete it and just same functions as swiping you have over here as well um, over here to create mail all you got to do is tap right there over here you could take a picture or choose a picture and put it here as an attachment that's it um, over here let's go to settings let's go over here to the settings here you got different mailbox you could have a lot of mailbox here and all you can see all unified mailboxes here also you get the these same features you get it later the list you also get the archive feature function over here you get the trash you get sent messages over here you got settings and in settings you got your accounts over here and when you tap add account this is what you get you only have the right to put only one type of account gmail only now that totally sucks for me that kills it because i don't want to have two different mailbox one mailbox for yahoo other for for hotmail i don't like that that's for me is a no-go of course here you got signature default account you can make either one your default account over here you got list you could go ahead and create more list over here you got snoozes you could go ahead and create and customize your snooze times uh, sync preference notification you could be choose how you want to be notified by new messages here you got the badge counts over here if you check this right here it says show inbox conversation tap on that if we go back over here you see it has over 3,000 over 3,900 um, messages which you don't want to see that um, here it should over here it says show one for new messages and right now I have new messages like you see right here I have new messages but it's not showing me new messages over here. That's not showing me badge. So I don't know what's going on there. Should be updated soon as well. But let's go ahead over here to the mail client, to the Apple client. Over here, like you see, 
looks very cool very simple uh, one thing that I like about the uh, Apple app is that you can actually have it rotating and like you see over here I can also go over here and see what's on my inbox like you see right here awesome feature but that's not in the mailbox feature also some people forget that you can actually swipe and you have the option to archive so if I want to archive this all you gotta do is swipe and, and over there archive uh, if we go here to add an account go to settings go to mail when you add an account you have more options for your mail you got iCloud you got Microsoft Exchange you got Gmail you got Yahoo AOL Microsoft and it also even lets you um, add your own email client if you actually own one so for me the Apple email app for me is the best one it's still the best one and I would not consider using the mailbox app because for me it's limited and I don't like being limited to only one type of account I have more I have a Gmail I have Yahoo I have um, live mail from Hotmail you know and iCloud as well so for me Apple is still better than mailbox and these features the sliding features that you get in mailbox Apple can easily uh, easily replicate that on their own mailbox mail app so that's it guys just want to let you guys see the new uh, mailbox app and what's the big fuzz about it and there you go so guys hope you guys like the video till next time